first inning at bat didn't result in the run that you guys wanted, but how important was that for you? Did you feel like to step up there and hit it as hard as you did? Well, I mean, that's my goal every time I get up the bat is just to hit the pee out the ball. So when you do that, that's successful, and no matter what happens, I mean, that's that's softball. So yeah, we wanted that run first inning, but that's the game of softball. So it was just really great to get up there first inning and show the girls that hey, we got this. Like we can score on this girl. Who cares? For, for both of you, um, being your first time in this environment, what was it like? And, and what enables the two of you to, to not be faced by an environment like this? It absolutely lived up to, to the hype. Like, oh my God, like they say bedlam this, bedlam that, and how crazy it is, and how it's just a one of a kind environment. And you kind of you kind of want to take it with a grain of salt until you can actually be there and experience it for yourself. And it is very true. It's the loudest environment that I've ever played in in my entire life um, so I think just trying to focus on just staying as neutral as possible while just celebrating the little wins it helped me out a lot today yeah same thing it was crazy um, but we knew it was gonna be that way but like she said we have to stay within our team and just stay neutral and it doesn't matter what the score is what inning it is we have to play our game and I feel like that's what we did so. how are you guys able to survive those first two innings uh, three innings I guess Lots of runners on base for OU, but you guys come away with only the two runs on the board. What was what was it like to just watch all that happening out there? It, I mean, it's softball. Yeah. Like like I said a while ago, it's just that's gonna happen. Your pitchers are gonna go through times where they're struggling, and you just have to have their back. So when you get a ball hit to you, you have to make the play and go from there. Um, I think the biggest thing that Coach G is put, instills in us is. If you're not playing against the other team, you're playing the game of softball. And I think that just really, that mindset just really helped us just um, be mentally tough tonight and just have really, just have a really mature approach to this game. Um, so I think that we did a really good job of not getting sped up, even when we didn't make make the plays, the routine plays, even when we, when we didn't do the things very clean. I think we just did a really good job of having a short-term memory and just knowing, like Carly said, like it's softball, you're gonna make errors, you're gonna make mistakes, you're not gonna do everything perfectly but every, you have another pitch. And whoever can just lock into the next pitch the quickest, I think is, is gonna have the best chance. Carly, did you know your home run was over? What was kind of your initial read off the bat? Well, well if you wanted to look at the truth, I knew I hit it really well. And I thought it was going out, but Jada come home and like jumped like she was about to catch it. I was like, oh my gosh, there's no way that was not out. And then I saw it go to the fence, so yeah. But like I said, I hit the ball hard, so. Home run was great, but even if she did catch it, you know, I, I did my job regardless. Julie, what about yours? So, I have this thing. Like, when I just know that I hit a ball really well, like, my first thing that I say is go ball. And usually I'll know it's gone. And so, um, I don't know. I think I was just really excited to have hit the ball well, like Carly said. And I, I knew I hit that ball really, really well. I was still running the first with some pretty good intent, but I, I, I saw it go over and I was – just trying to take as much time around the base pass as I could. Because <laughs> that was just an awesome moment. Kenny was talking about toughness and how you two coming in, same year obviously, different scenarios, but coming in to this program, you really wanted toughness. Can you guys talk about just, I mean, I know that that's a team-wide thing, but what you guys individually hope you bring to this team in terms of grit and tenacity and toughness? I just think, um, my dad told me a few weeks ago when I wasn't going as well as I wanted, um, you have to win the hard days to see the good ones. And after that, it's just kind of been like a, a, a light switch. And just real, realizing that and living by that every day, it, it'll take you places just because every day's not gonna be perfect and every day's not gonna be great. So like, just fight through it. I think that's, I like that. Oh, I mean, I come from from the dirty south, you know, and I mean that in like as in Louisiana and I come from the Southland Conference where it's not such a big scale that we play on. We don't really get these scenes a whole lot until we make it to the end. But um, I think just coming from a place where you just know you have to grind every single day in order to shine, um, it, it really has helped my mindset. And I'm just very grateful to be able to bring that mindset and bring that kind of gritty play and that just um, just kind of like from the bottom attitude 
I, I think I really take pride in that mindset and being able to just bring that to my team and provide them with as much energy as I possibly can. Um, so I take a whole lot of pride.